Yeah, we'll buy uh, MQ9 Bs, we're buying four, uh, and we will buy two even more. We're buying four now, and then we'll, uh, we'll buy two more in 28. So uh, we have uh, three platform because one platform is two uh, planes. So we will have three platforms, six planes. And one platform who has an update, the latest new update, is coming in uh, in two years. So uh, so it's an ISR uh, plane. It's a platform that's doing ISR, so intelligence, uh, surveillance and reconnaissance uh, on high altitudes. It's working very well. It's done more than 9 million millimeter flight, flight hours uh, worldwide. Uh, so it's working very good. 80% is in combat situations. So it's giving information on the situational awareness, on the situation, uh, on the terrain for the military, for the troops to engage. Yes, we will use it for international operations. We can also use it for humanitarian operations in Belgium. Uh, of course, it will uh, it will has a lot of uh, multi role. It's multifunctional, so yeah, it's a great uh, plane. Yeah, yeah, it's, of course we will arm it, and it's only for an international theater. But it, the, the the armament is necessary because we see that when there's a problem and it is the plane the most the most close to the troops, we can engage it. When we don't have it, we have a huge problem. So uh, everybody is arming uh, their drones and we will do it as well. We are uh, looking into that. So the first available armament will probably be the Brimstone, the UK uh, armament, since we are coordinating that with our UK friends because we were the first to buy it. And then later on we will open up the different use of armament to armament that we also use on our F-16 and in the future on our F-35, which makes that we don't have to have stocks of everything. Well, the uh, the crew of this uh, remotely piloted aircraft is uh, there's three people uh, with every flight. So you have one is the pilot. He's the he's the the person who will make sure that the the aircraft stays, communicates with the uh, air traffic controllers, uh, and flies where it has to fly. They are they have different backgrounds. We have uh, pilots with have who have uh, F-16 experience. We have transport experience, and we have uh, new guys who are just coming out of the training. And then next to him is the sensor operator. That is uh, the person who will make sure that the uh, sensors of the uh, aircraft are looking at the right spot in the right place and that all the data is coming is being fed back to the uh, operational center. And then there's one controller who is actually in the back, an intelligence controller, and who is making sure that everybody who wants information, who wants details, who wants to talk or task the aircraft, that all that information is centralized so that the two in front, the pilot and the sensor operator, can concentrate on their work. And then in the back, all the taskings are combined and given. It's a joint force, for sure used for intelligence. So everybody who needs intelligence can use it and can request. Our army forces who are deployed somewhere, the Navy who is trying to surveil parts of the ocean, or the Air Force who, is, uh, who needs information from before employing a400 or the F16s. I wish them many safe flights and much success in their essential mission.